consistent practice that he has against Dill. She's very much been a contender around here forever, but we did just see what happened with Zamba. If we can see Dill kind of replicate that success out of what Zamba was able to do, I mm -hmm. think we're in for a world of hurt for, for numbers. But I think truly what's going to be really difficult for Dill is how do you get back onto the stage? Not a lot of killings can really push Ugaba out there, but honestly, nobody does it like we fit can. You got multiple projectiles that you can constantly be throwing out oh. there. Look at this jab block. Oh, the damage, the full conversion, oh, wow. keeping the pressure up at ledge too. You gotta hold all that up till it's into this pressure. Numbers has had enough with Robs today. Wow. Oh my god. That stock was just so clean. All of his spacing was on point. His option coverage was there. And his dash attacks to catch Gyro, those mid position dash attacks were mwah, delicious. Chef's kiss. Yeah, and if you keep that <gasps> going. Oh, ooh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. All right. <laughs> Okay, so back to us. If you keep that pressure up the same way that you did, Dill's gonna have a terrible time because we're talking about one of the biggest weaknesses of Rob is getting to land. But you're also getting cooked on every ledge trap, um, excuse me, every tech chase situation mm -hmm. as well. Look at the way that Numbers is picking up Drago and then throwing it immediately at Dill's shield, locking her into shield and making it difficult for her to be able to find an edge guard. But that time, no Drago on deck is gonna be able to help Numbers as Dill finds her spike and the stock. Yeah, there's pretty much no stalling that Numbers could do at the. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good call. Just wait, just literally low profiling the weight underneath the, the laser, calling out the jump. Numbers is starting to put on some solid pressure here and beating out the landing there with dash attack. Oh, going for an up throw on Jago. They were so smart. You just got to put it out of play, catching Dill, pressing the buttons from a mile away, uh, maybe jumping in some places that she really, really shouldn't have been. Um, and again, he's just catching these uh, these Jagos without question. Yeah, and then look at look at where Numbers is positioning himself too. He's staying just out of down tilt range from Dill. Not that time, but like he's mm -hmm. been able to consistently kind of keep Dill in a fearful spot. Like I'm gonna play mid range better than you. Yeah, I feel like all of John's uh, buttons at mid range are coming out a little bit before he deals. Be it the aggressive ones where he's able to pick up Jago, or those headers and sun salutations that are coming out beforehand. So Dill just needs to reposition himself so she has enough time to shield. Wow, unfortunately, after that, tried to look for. I think Dill was trying to bait a spot dodge or something in that situation after the stutter step back. Numbers just hard saw through that, though. Yeah. Oh. All right, so not dying to the laser off the top. You got to be forced to hold this and not going to get hit by oh, any no. of that either. That's a big punish. Yeah, Dill, she retreated a little bit too far back and was not able to stuff out the neutral getup. But now Dill is in such a good position to find a way to be able to take out the stock. Waits out that head, but is in no position to be able to cover the low recovery from that moment. Yeah, good good positioning as well. Getting around wow. that, and after that, so catching, finally, numbers slipping with that laser. On this last stock, as we're getting, uh, we're getting an end of this, who are you feeling is looking a bit better to take this first game? Dill is making a lot of spacing adjustments at long distance. She's canceling her Jago tosses, um, and her laser is a little bit sooner so that she can put out shield. And now she's no longer being asked to get in by Hedu. Yeah, like big, big, a big thing is if Dill can keep this pressure up, keep that same way, not fearing this, like the, again, the header, not jumping, not moving out of position to catch that hit is working so well. You basically are forcing numbers to get deep breathing and outplay you in yeah. center stage. Dill's long distance zoning mix ups are becoming just maybe a little bit more consistent and they're genuinely doing more for her than numbers as options are. And again, just putting on so much shield pressure, but that time dash attacking a little bit too unsafely. Oh no, Numbers doesn't go to the ledge at all. Just retreats, thinks he's safe, but not yet. Yeah, Numbers holding on to this lead. Not very, not massive lead, but doing a good job of kind of just presenting fear because deep breathing's on deck. And now if you make a mistake, up there's not going to kill. Still needs but to if be you catch so it back here. Oh, oh wow. Or forward air as well. Yeah, just one more good hit from Numbers is going to be able to take it. Dill, air dodging so bravely to the ledge. Numbers was not in a position to be able to react in time. Wow, you that, see the way Numbers just kind of going directly underneath Dill, kind of yeah. trying to bait it. Like, well, that time oh. Sun Salutation just did the trick. But oh. you saw, like, Numbers kind of slowly walking up underneath those nares. Like, right there. It was just waiting, trying to make it look like, oh, I shielded the first nair. So let's see if you air dodge here. Unfortunately, got caught for it. But just even after that, gets back up off this uh, off of this ledge trap. That was a frame perfect dash shield. I just hope you know that. That looked like I don't think Dill could have pressed shield any sooner. But that DI... That, Bad. That that actually wasn't even a fully charged one either with the yeah. uh, the sun salutation. So that actually that di was not pop champ. Dill is. I mean, Tilde is just once again just staring into our soul over here. Like <laughs> Tilde, like yo, chill, bro. Like yo, chill. Yo, did did I did I accidentally like kick your cat or something? I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to. Does he see <laughs> the camera moving at us or at him? I wouldn't. 
I don't think so. I mean, when I was sitting over there, I definitely was paying attention to that. This man is ready to we put in work. We need an enhance on this. That's what we need an enhance on. <laughs> enhance on player games. Yep. <laughs> All right, so as we get into this next game here, I think one of the things that um, we want to see replicated out of Dill is definitely respecting those headers, respecting that shield yep. pressure game, and also, like, consistently forcing numbers <gasps> to the ledge is hard, but if we could see him play mid-range and center stage a bit better, I think we'll see uh, yep. Dill probably walk away with this. Okay, now Dill just putting on so much pressure on numbers in the corner, he has yet to be able to find a single hit on her. Great coverage with the Jago as well. It would have been able to force out a defensive option at the very least. Yeah, you know what's one of my favorite things about numbers? <gasps> After he gets bodied with a lot of percent, he's not that scared. He will continue to go running right back in. Unfortunately for him, finally got caught hmm. by one mistake off of the platform. Yeah, I don't know about that, Dia. <laughs> I don't know about it. Actually, I might be completely mistaken. It would have killed either way. But speaking of killing, I've told almost doing the job. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yo, you can't. Yo, yo, look, you can have that gyro back, but can you hold this spike to the head real quick? Like, this is already such a good start to game two because we saw how Dill okay. was able to keep pressure up, and Numbers has been answering back in kind immediately. Wow, Numbers is just so good. He put on 56% and so consistently, too. Just is making so much good use out of Dill's own Jago. He's just showing how confident uh, he is playing around it and using it against her. And again, I love the idea, but um, maybe just committed to an option a little too quickly. Oh, getting caught by the Seppi, too, but you're very... Oh, <gasps> trying to catch him with the back air and keep oh, it no. again. That frame trap is so disgustingly scary because if you don't have good recovery high, you're forced to take those potential double back airs because of the up B from Rob. They're going to make it back anyways. I think the directional air dodge just might have been a bit of a misplay mm -hmm. because uh, John Numbers might have had some less committal mix. Maybe he was just counting on Dill. Uh, you know, retreating, or honestly, misinputed neutral air dodge. I don't know so much about that deep breathing off stage where you try to get a fear tactic, force an air dodge on a dill, but give up the stage wow. positioning, and since that has taken 55% basically for that mistake. Great coverage. Dill is always covering both neutral getup and a platform above her. So John has never been able to jump from ledge successfully. And he's not getting too comfortable rolling from ledge either. Dill has really locked down a lot of her ledge trap, has simplified a lot of it, and number is struggling. Yeah, and that, this is such a different story from that beginning of that match. We saw Numbers answering back immediately. Now Numbers is just being forced into the corner. Like, nobody puts Baby in the corner, but Numbers She's sure backing is. off into best places. These oh! <gasps> You're done. You're done. There's nothing you could do there. There's literally nothing you could do there. You're forced to take that, because you can stall all you want, Gyro. You can try to jump, Gyro. You, if you try to uh, high recovery early up B or something, you know what gets caught? Throw Gyro, get the up air. There's literally nothing that you could do in Look that spot. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that tracking. Oh, my God. Oh, that was so cool. That was so cool, Dill. I don't know. I found this to be really cool. She just followed him all the way down to the depths of the blast zone. That was... I don't think Numbers would have been able to make that back uh, either way, but you know what? You, we got the enhance on the player cam. <laughs> the, the what? We got the... We got, we got the... Let's try this again. Hold on. We, we got, got the, the what? Enhance. Oh, wait. Uh, messed up. Wrong one. Uh, no. Much better. <laughs> enhance. If y'all haven't watched Super Troopers, I mean, please be old enough to watch it, but please watch it so you can understand yes. the reference. Uh, yes, I am a Super Trooper watcher myself. Absolutely. Uh, anyhow, game. For all people, when a movie quite literally made the joke of saying meow during an entire trooper. pullover, and you haven't watched that? All right, so. Wait. Super Trooper? All I'm saying is we got a phony on deck, so we're getting into this next match here. I, I, excuse me. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, yeah. I think all right, my friend was in the sequel. So we get into this next match. Um, all right, Meow. You're going to get hit by the up throw. Yeah. Uh, all right, so, so, so Dar, Meow, uh, what do you think is going to happen uh, right now? Is that what that's like? Just getting hit by unexpected Meows and Meows and pretending like nothing happened and you have to move on? Because that's you, awful. I can't believe to I do that to people. All right, you stop laughing, right, Meow? That's literally what happens in the movie. So, <laughs> right now, uh, uh, right, right meow, uh, John Numbers is currently getting cooked, and that is a whole stock, yeah. and you see Numbers feeling that in the cam. Yeah. I feel like Dill has just tightened up a lot of her spacing, and she is no longer feeling as pressured by Hedder as she was once before. A lot of her mid range options and the position that she's choosing to play at, she's keeping herself nice and safe. These are all the shenanigans of Rob. Even the shenanigans. 
<laughs> oh, so many people in chat probably do not understand this reference at all. Yeah, but Dill are. is just doing so incredible at keeping this lead, keep this pressure up, keep numbers backed into a corner. And that's pretty much what you need to do. Like, make everything not fun for Wee Fit. Yeah, and Dill's just being so patient when she's ledge trapping as well. That dash back was excellent. She was anticipating another button from John Numbers uh, and was able to find the whip punish as a result. And look at those landing mix-ups. I didn't know Gob's AO speed was like that. I thought I thought she was going to the plaid. I mean, you know, right now, Rob looking like our Ramrod. Just like, kind of just keep... All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> so, uh, but I would like a leader of Cola after this is done. So, <laughs> I am killing Devin. I am so sorry. But right now, this is just like so... This is... Everything about what's happening right now is you want to get into Numbers head. You want to make Numbers basically feel like they can't play off stage. They can't play at the ledge. They can't wow. do anything at all. And you see Dill has... has has found the win condition and is playing to it fully. She forced, I want to get a replay on that last talk. She forced Numbers' movement so well there, and he was just completely out of options, and she just had that timing on deck. And again, just not finding any of these headers. If anything, uh, he's just making himself really predictable at the ledge, and, and honestly, Dill is taking full advantage of that. Yeah, and then even right there, you're forced You're forced to pretty much roll in or take a oh move to get a hit. Oh and my then forced Dill. falling off stage. Yeah, go for that side. Be good tech from Dill. Like, Numbers needs a miracle, like a straight-up miracle. And deep breathing is definitely one way to start making a comeback, but you have to start playing out of your mind if you want to see this W. Oh, no, Dill putting himself off stage, maybe committing a little bit too much, but I love that awareness. Numbers does not have the same sustain. Dill does. Is she going to find the ledge trap? No, she is not. Uh, Numbers is just going to be able to tech roll in and finds a kill off an F-Tilt. Yeah, very good position. Like, well, actually kind of brave on that aggressive roll in there because you might just get up smash. Yep. So Numbers starting to tr starting to find a few hits. It's only 37%, but you can wow. see, you can almost feel the tech, like, you, you see the energy changing. The way that Numbers is starting to get some pressure. This is still, Dara, though, one bad mistake wow. like that to Dill's victory. Yeah, that's going to be it. Dill just playing so well that game. I think her spacing was immaculate. Mm -hmm. I think the way that she was pressuring Numbies offstage was phenomenal as well. I love the way that she was just chasing him down all the way. Oh, wow. That follow-up was great. I like the fact that she didn't commit to up smash either. Just like went for the grab because that's probably the safety. She knows if it kills. If she whiffs it, it's going to be much more, uh, it's going to be much more lagless. Um, I wonder if we can get a replay on that on that second stock, because I just wanna, I just wanna talk about just like how well this was this was played on on Dill's behalf. I mean, in this position, wow, you are freaking out. Yeah, no, man. as as numbers. Oh, uh, uh, let me try this again. Uh, 15 <laughs> FPS, hit it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I have Devin literally falling out of his seat over there. <laughs> I'm trying my best. No, this was just so good. This this placement of Jilo, Numbies was not in a position where he could drift out because that's mm -hmm. going to be just as exploitable. If you try to guide um, you know, the wall a little bit too much and you're not on the stage like Kalos where you can tech that, um, you're literally just giving away all of your timing. Mm -hmm. You don't have timing mix-ups. You don't have positional mix-ups. You can't fade back in and out. So Numbies was forced to hold to the left uh, from here and then Dill was just able to get a free spike. There's, there's really nothing else here. Yeah, you just you just cooked. Yeah, there, it, you have to hold. <laughs> it ends. You have to hold literally all of that, and there's just, you have to just hope that you get the ability to tech in that position, or that Dill messes up her timing. That's yeah. literally all you have to work on there. Yeah. Also, not fully known, but you can try to maybe SDI when you're in that bit of hit lag from a spike, because those moves do so much damage, mm. and they have like such interesting knockback scalings as well. Um, you'll have actually a good amount of opportunity to SDI that, and maybe if you SDI that just right, just just right, uh, and and you wiggle it enough towards the edge of the stage, you might be able to put yourself in a position to attack that. So what you're saying is, you should enhance your gameplay. Yes. Yeah! <laughs> I look. I this, this entire wow. time.